right, what is up you guys, and as always, welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle. Going up against Kyle, and um, we're actually going to bring a team that I really hope works. It, it is a bit on uh, the weak side, but it is intentional. Uh, it's a stick web team with uh, offensive Hitman top with Technician, uh, offensive Melodic with Call and uh, Liquidation and uh, Triple Kick. And um, it's just overall really dumb. And uh, we're going up against a monotype ice team. So this looks really cool. And um, we have no way of getting off, get off hail actually, which is going to be annoying. But at the same time, um, I do believe Hitmon top is really great. And we can set up our terrain fairly early on and pressure our opponent. Uh, Stick Whip is still going to be huge, but um, he has two potential spinners. Um, but yeah, that's the easy play, I feel. Um, because, uh, yeah, we don't take those hits all that well. Um, damn, this looks to be good. Like, you don't always go up against teams like this and just throughout the battle, and I felt this, this looks right. Uh, this is absolutely nice team, and I don't have a fire type to pressure him at all. Uh, I sure have a fighting type, but it will only work in certain switch-ins and you know the team itself is actually on the weak side on, on its ice offenses though my logic looks to be really great so let's see he starts off with nine tails that is to be expected um straight off the bat we're gonna do as much damage as possible um because that's really all we can do and um since we don't have defog we are in uh, a bit of a strange environment um, luckily though, I think a choice specs gonna hurt quite badly, but we won't be able to outspeed. Um, I could use Trek, but I really just want to see how much expanding force does. Uh, because it's double the power in, or I think 1.5 in train, and that's plenty. <laughs> Let's see how much will we do. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. <laughs> So, do I have something I can take a blizzard? Like, really not, but we're still gonna do this. Um, one thing that is in my favor with this matchup is that... Oh, he switches out. He do not want to take that. Goes to... Uh, ah, meanwhile, cool. Um, so, we're gonna get our flame orb activated directly, and we get the coil. Uh, unless he's soul stance, I'm actually thinking we win this matchup rather naturally because of flame orb that is so call will absolutely help us um i could go for a curse directly or i mean a recover to take this knock as bad as, as good as possible um not nah, we call him i'm plus one defense there should be plenty i think he is really thinking about this he don't know what i am you just know that i'm fat by the way, this physical <laughs> melodic might not work at all versus this, but I'm, I'm, I'm still feeling confident. He's really thinking. I would not risk Meeval here. Um, he has Sword Stance, that's unfortunate. Um, the only positive part coming out of this is uh, that... Um, once the psychic train is over, I do believe bullet punch, absolutely punish uh, Meanwhile, But we need to go for a waterfall, we need to get the damage basically. I don't know how much a knockoff will do, but now I know this, he will win this matchup. I wonder what he's thinking, like knockoff seems to be the right play. I'm getting nervous just waiting this out. Let's see, throw chop. Oh, we are. We are good. We are real good, actually. I don't care about that damage at all. We are good. So we'll recover here. Um, yeah, he keeps soul stats, and I'll probably consider the same. <laughs> I think I can stall out the Aurora Veil a little bit at least. Um, this next Frochop will absolutely hurt me. 
So he's absolutely likely. Hmm. Yeah, we recover. Here we go, throw chop. This time it's absolutely in range. But it looks like we recover quite a lot actually. But eventually we will lose this matchup. But like I said, I want to stall out the veil. Because that's the only way I feel I can beat Meanwhile, So if he swords stands again, so be it. That only like securing that uh, the veil is over. Though an another call would have been nice, but yeah. We're sacking Malotic here. Um, or do I have like least valuable player for this matchup? I mean, not really. Um, let's see, he has very few ways of dealing with Malotic actually. So I guess I should sack something. Um, Baller would have been nice. Rotor would be nice. Stickway would be absolutely help. Oh, this is rough, isn't it? Something's gotta die. Yeah, we're sacking you. It's the best play. Plus, I don't know. I like a throw chop should absolutely kill us, but I wonder how much this will do. Um, be surprised we didn't see knockoff. Um, let's see if throw chop will do. Takes us out of school. That's unfortunate. Right, Veil is over, and I believe Bullet Punch should absolutely be in range here. And if I see something like um, Evil Eye coming in, I probably bulk up. But I believe Bullet Punch should take him out. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God, do we die? You could have missed one of those at least. It didn't kill, that's unfortunate. Let's see, do I have other means of priority? I really don't. <laughs> this meal is looking tough. Tough as nails. I thought easily Hitmontop will take him out. This is a plus six variant. This is gonna absolutely sting. It's not over. <laughs> but at what cost? We still can recover, but only against select matchups, such as um, versus um, versus Avalog. So we, we kinda get we have to get in that position somehow. This is way above me, I feel. Um, damn, from looking kind of stellar to really feeling just stressed out. Right, we're doing this. Um, the way I see it, like, my Lord needs to come in freely anyway, but um, I think he says I veil first or attack me directly to get me down. But anyway, I should be able to get webs up. And I will not be able to stop him from getting up his uh, Aurora Veil anyway. So, stick web and um, we'll take it from there. We're really not in the strongest position at all. Losing Hitmon top was tremendously awful. I should have just sacked my Lord, I can get that ship. Right, he's really thinking about this. I don't know if I would. I'm feeling absolutely pressured by this team. He actually switches out, so he doesn't even consider... Goes to Frostmoth, alright.
So he'll get the easy quiver dances. I'll use Volt Switch here. Um, yeah, there we go. Volt Switch will do nothing because it is a Frost Moth. And. Oh! Oh! That's unusual. So I kind of have to hope that this uh, flame charge is enough. And I don't know if I'm like sl faster or slower. Let's find out. Okay, I am faster. Mmm! <laughs> Power! All right, cool. <laughs> All right, we're good. And I spin block Avalog, so none of his spinners can spin against me. I said spin a few times too much there. But Choice Band of Flame Charge does nothing. But it has its merits. Right, sends out Betic, which is caught in the webs. And it doesn't have Ice Shard, it has Icicle Crash. Guess we second you anyway. <laughs> I really wanted my Lordic to work here, but it just wasn't meant to be. So let's see what it does. Oh, he Dynamax. Of course he does. This is a man. I kind of feel I should Dynamax myself. I don't know. But minus one speed, I wonder. Let's see. Max Hailstorm. Hail stops, it won't be faster. We are not in a good position. We are in an awful position. So we're not trying to get as much damage as possible. So expanding force looks to be just about right. Let's see, how much does it do? Oh, yes. A Mux Knuckle. That's actually... I don't believe that kills us. Not there. Not there. So this is nice. Um, I'm going to try another one of those. So I believe Sandslash follows here. The good part is that he has, need, he has to reset um, the um, Veil if he wants to keep that one going. Because right now, everything is slower than, uh, I was going to say Ordino, but Indeedy. So I think we're looking kind of stellar. Besides Sandslash, which I think can take a hit from here. So there's a snow warning. And you won't get your veil up at least. I really want damage on that Ava Lug, for sure. But uh, I guess we'll take out Ninetales and... Um, I don't know, I gotta make a call from there, basically. I want to um, Dynamax my... Um, my Gorgeist. I just don't know, like, how... M I have one more Psychic Surge on my side, I believe. Um, but I've, like I said here, Sandslash kind of comes in here, and uh, if it doesn't... It's like kind of nothing to lose.
it could be sturdy though Ooh, I don't like this I don't like this one bit right swapping out um, basically my idea here is to um, dynamite with Balrog hoping a flame charge is enough see iron head that's actually resisted that's kind of nice <laughs> it's life form okay cool so the isolate crash will triple triple kick will kill me um, we're just discharging it right we're slow or it's a good volt switch in case it does something cheeky there's isolate crash it does connect and I basically need to hope that um, my rota is a faster at a minus one sand slash but I do believe I am and there's a psychic search over so this was a play no matter what happens oh this gotta work if he's faster then he wins and if not then I think I win come on <laughs> I need this. I need this so badly. I was waiting out that this Mega Evolution was going to say, but that I'm acting a little bit too long, and I really hope it pays off. Because, like I said, if it's faster, he could very well take me out here. Come on. No, he isn't. No. <laughs> yes. I don't know I'm gonna get that average Joe who says, well, how, how hard is it to beat the ice team? <laughs> Clearly, it is. <laughs> oh, damn, this is cool. Like I said, the team here wasn't necessarily, you know, the team to use, but just that I get this to kind of work is, uh, is phenomenal. Uh, I think we just keep Max flaring here. Um, it shouldn't do anything, but we're gonna break it sturdy. Look at that. Look at that. Did nothing. An avalanche. Yeah. Yeah, that looks about right. Um, I don't know, do want to go for stab, maybe? Yeah, let's, let's, let's do stab. <laughs> a vlog is such a champ. Good thing this Pokemon don't get. Um, oh, he actually recovers. I think that's all right. Because minus one defense. I mean, we still won't kill him, but we will absolutely do damage. Let's see. Polter guys do. How much? Oh, it's a fair chunk. Kind of a weird animation on Poltergeist move, but yeah, it did a fair chunk. But I do believe we get to ex wrap it up here with Expanding Force, and uh, I've never been prouder of getting this thing to work because it was a handful. It was... It was tough. This was absolutely a team that was working against me, so... I won't say anything, but, you know, tip to my opponent, this was a very well put together match from him. His team is really, for a Mono Ice team, it did very well. So, yeah, a small victory against Cal, and uh, it was a surprisingly close game, which just speaks more for my opponent than it does for me. I think he was, he was the one at a disadvantage, but, yeah, he did good. He did real good. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed this game and you know as always everyone really take care bye